So today, greenhouse shading. What am I using? Why am I using it? And what does it do? And we're going the long way around because I'm trying a new camera thing. Now, greenhouse shading. This is a new thing on me completely. I have never, ever had this in my greenhouse before at any time ever in my life. I've never had any problems and nothing has ever led me to believe that it's something I should even think about. Because as I kept saying to you guys, Scotland doesn't get extremes. We get, sometimes we get really nice weather in summer and absolutely baking beautiful days. Um, but they're not like the type of thing our neighbours down south get. Um, and I have never seen sort of like the plant leaves get scorched or anything like that. Until recently. This year, I've said to you before that spring and winter and stuff has all been really weird because I keep a garden journal and I keep tracking temperatures and all that kind of stuff. And I have definitely noticed a massive difference in the weather over the last couple of years. And this year, this summer, has been sunnier and way hotter than I ever remember. I mean, do you know that thing where older folk always tell you how it was always sunnier and hotter when they were younger? So maybe it was, but I don't remember. I mean, the video I did a few weeks ago where I had all my sort of fellow YouTubers on giving advice. We don't get extremes of anything. So in summer, we don't really get extreme hot. Our summer is usually around the 20 to 23 degrees Celsius mark. So not super hot. 23C and we're all complaining that it's too hot. The day after I filmed that video, it was 27 here. 20. Seven. So I think it's safe to say weather and everything is changing, it's changeable, can't bank on it. So anyway, long story short, I also had another problem um, which for about two, three weeks I was battling blossom end draw on my peppers in here. Um, and it was driving me nuts, but I got it under control. It was all sorted. And then one day it was in the garden. So I saw one of my peppers had a big squishy bit on it again. And basically I just, I was raging angry. I reacted out of anger. Um, and Kate and I were out doing some photography lessons. I was teaching Kate to use a camera in manual. Um, and I thought I'll quickly do a wee video and show you guys. And that is the thing. There's, a, there's another video going to come out of this all about don't just take everything at face value, but that will be a separate video. For just now, let me just say, on that day, what I saw wasn't blossom end drop, but I reacted and I didn't think, and I quickly did the video and put it out. And unfortunately, I gave you guys the wrong info. So today's video is about that, and it's to say thank you to Lorna Collins and Baron Wolf, because... They both said to me, Eli, I think that might be sunscald. <sighs> Blew my head. I knew I'd had blossom end drop, so I just assumed that that was it. I'd never seen sunscald in my life. Like I said, I've never even seen the, the plant leaves get damaged with the sun, so I had to go away into research mode and look this up, which is why it took me a wee bit to then get going with the shading and stuff. But thank you to those guys for very being so lovely and brave and reaching out and saying to me and also in the manner in which they did it they were very respectful and polite which is not always the case on the internet or even on this channel may i say so yeah so if you want to be listened to don't be a dick basically but anyways enough of that so greenhouse shading because i've just waffled for 20 odd minutes and you guys aren't interested in that so let me tell you about the shading that i have got in here because you guys probably know the company that make my greenhouse make these gorgeous integral blinds that can be fitted to the outside and they fit into the ridge on the roof and they're all lovely and you can pull them down and they're all gorgeous and amazing but they're crazy expensive like way out of my budget um, so i went looking for cheap alternatives and there are cheap alternatives and they all do the same job so you could get some kind of shading cloth or netting and just put it over the outside and you can kind of weigh it down and stuff. For me, 
not really what I was after. Um, because I don't want that hassle of something that's not fixed and, and you know I don't like untidy so wasn't for me. The other option that's really cheap and a lot of folk do is you get shade and paint. So you can actually paint the outside, the glass on the greenhouse and um, it's like a kind of opaque white kind of stuff um, and it works really well. But again, I really don't want to be painting my greenhouse and the untidiness and the mess and mm, it's not for me. <laughs> so I went on a bit of a hunt on the internet and I found these blinds. So I've had these up now. I didn't want to do a video straight away because I know a lot of you guys will go and buy these because I'm talking about them. Hodge your horses. I've only had them up for a few weeks, okay? So I can't recommend whether they're brilliant or not. I need to give them time to see if there's any issues, okay? As it stands at the minute, I'm really, really happy, but we'll see how it goes. So let me tell you about them. Now, unfortunately, Kate and I did do this video the other day um, and mic issues again. So I'll try and use some of that footage if I can, but the sound on it sucks. So you may get my mouth moving and the words won't match because it'll be me talking now. <sighs> It's just story of my life at the minute with mics. That one was my fault though. But anyway, <laughs> okay. So basically, sun scald and damage to your plants. And why do you put shading up? Right, it's like this. The shading is up, okay. It doesn't completely block out the light because obviously your plants really need the light. You want the light. But what it does is it blocks, or these specifically, the label on them says that it blocks 40% of the UV. OK, so not all of it, but some of it. So it's darker than usual in here. But once the sun's out and it gets bright, it isn't that dark in here anymore. It's just slightly shaded. It's a bit like if I was growing things kind of under dappled shade of trees and stuff. Now, the big thing I've also noticed, and I was wary of this, because a lot of folk in hotter countries, I say hot, folk down south, I know and spoke to me about this, they use greenhouse shading to try and help balance out the temperatures a bit because on those really hot days when it's really bright the greenhouse really does heat up and even with all the auto vents opening and stuff it can still get really quite hot and humid in here welcome to an incredibly warm and humid greenhouse i've actually noticed that the shading helps with that since i've put this up it has not been as baking hot in here at all which it's pretty amazing. Um, I really was a bit like, yeah, right. But no, genuinely, I found that this does actually work. So it's protecting the plants so they're not getting that really strong direct sunlight on them anymore. The greenhouse is still warm. They're still getting light. They're just getting protected a little bit from the really, really harsh stuff. And so far, I haven't seen another incident of sun scald. It was just that first couple of peppers on that day. So, um, yeah, awesome. Okay, so let me tell you specifically about the actual shading that I'm using then. So, we're going to cut to the old footage here, right? So, as you can see, you can see through me, so it's not 100% shading. Um, it claims it shades from about 40% of the UV light, so it still lets a lot of the light in, which is quite cool. How it works? Do you see these white bits? There are suckers that these hook over the top of that you put in the glass. There is also these little bolts on the end and you unscrew these nuts. I have not been able to work out what these nuts are for. Can't work it out at all because you unscrew them. That's what I was trying not to do, not to drop things on the floor. So you unscrew those nuts and then you get two suckers for each blind that have a hole and you basically screw that on to that bolt. It's just force. <sighs> the other went on so easy. Good job I can just cut things. You never get to see this. You only see when it all works. Okay, so that's them in. This bit is going to attach to the top of the window and that gives you a track. So here goes. Now, my biggest problem is going to be doing that side. I may have to rent a tall person. Oh, right, here goes. I need a step. I don't 
I hope you can't hear the noises I'm making trying to reach. And then, then there are two suckers that don't have holes through them, but have little, what would they call it, wee wedge cut out of the stem. That's the ones for the bottom that hold it in place. So, remember I said these little white clips? So you use that. And you try not to knock all your tomatoes off. And there you go. Shading up on one window. Whew, I am sweating. I'm not going to be able to reach to put them up in the two back windows where I really need them because I get light from the sides. So I'm going to have to call rent a tall person. Which I don't like doing because I'll get the mickey taken out of me. Hello, tall person services. Um, I wonder, um, I'm actually in East Lothian in Scotland and I wondered if you had a local consultant. Um, I need to put some blinds up in a greenhouse and unfortunately it's the size of a skyscraper. I'm sure we can dispatch someone to you immediately. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you. Bye. Have you pre <laughs> No. <laughs> Coronavirus, folks. <laughs> So this works using these suckers, okay? So it's not fixed permanent in place. You can take it down, you know, move it around, that kind of stuff. My worry was, would these suckers actually hold? You know, would it be reliable? Which is why I didn't do a video straight away. I wanted to wait and see. But yeah, they've been up for a few weeks now and they're holding brilliantly. There is one annoyance though, and it is this. My windows that have the vents on them I can't fit them there, they're too wide to fit onto those windows. So that's a wee bit annoying. So on each side, I've got one window that isn't covered, um, which I was a wee bit wary of because here, the sun comes up on that side in the morning and it sets over there in the evening. So this window I was a bit worried about because obviously it gets sunlight on this side, but it seems to actually be fine. So I'm thinking that maybe it's because in the mornings the sun isn't so hot and strong. So that's not as much of an issue as later on in the day when it starts reaching this side. And again, I'm thinking with this one, the sun's kind of more that way. So I've got a blind on that window and I think that's cutting a lot of it. So I think it's actually worked out not bad, even though I worried a little bit. So I got these blinds on Amazon just because I had done an internet search. So I'll shove them in the sort of store thing where there's lots and lots of the tools and things I use. Um, and the link is in the description of the video as usual. Go and have a look and see what you think of them, okay? Um, you can probably get them elsewhere as well. It's just that it was Amazon I'd found them on. Uh, but so far, like I say, I'm, I think they're okay. I'm quite happy so far. I mean, they're not as pretty and nice as fancy integral ones, but, you know, they do the job. So remember, if you like these videos, hit that subscribe button and that little bell and tick it to give you a notification every time I post a video. That way you don't miss out. And also, if you're so inclined, hit that like button to let me know if this is the type of content you like and feel free comment away below because, you know, we like to have a bit of a community and everyone chat to each other. Right, okay then guys, I hope that was useful. I'll see you in the next video. So yeah, I'm trying this new camera thing because I thought it might be more interesting, fun for you guys. You might feel more here if I go back to the old selfie stick walk around the garden thing. We'll see if it works.